You're welcome, mate. Hey yes. there. By any oh, chance, mate. do you know anything about Santa Claus back there, or are you uh, just meeting him for the first time? Oh, I've seen him around a couple of times, but uh, just called him Santa Claus because he looks like Santa Claus, mate. Apart from that, there's nothing about him. The way you was dressing earlier, you give me the sense that you're something important. Would I be right to guess this? So I'm important? Well, I mean, I'm a baker, mate. Look at me. Uh, I like to look a little opulent while I'm in town to give off a good impression, but I wouldn't say I'm any more important. There's certainly not more than a good lord above. Ooh. Yeah, a uh, baker who dresses real nice. I'll get it. An average baker, then. Of course, mate. I mean, look. Business has been booming. You might say it's been uh, rising. <laughs> See? Like that. Oh, yeah, he's oh. joking. Yeah. yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. I'm on a roll. Yeah, I'll give you a little tip. I think if you somebody Good likes God. making a profit, you know, have a key in the island hole, man. You might find something interesting there. I don't really? say it's what, but you know, be interested. Well, I'll see you interesting, around. Interesting, is it? Yeah. So was Connor able to convince you, or what's the plan here now? You know, that is an old plan. When I've taken a tumble, I'm always hungry after, but I can usually really do with some freshly made bread. How about it, Santa, eh? I ain't got no bit of pie for you, but I do have some freshly made peach bread baked in Rome. You want some? Three for five dollars. Go to hell, son of a bitch. Oh, mate. So, I imagine this is where we part ways. Mr. Caleb West, when it comes to work here. I thought you were coming on this last one. Well, I mean, Mr. Widow and I don't think you get along very well. I think if I keep following him around, we might come to more blows. Don't you think? You said I need to control my anger anyways. I've always said you need to control your goddamn anger. You've got an empty stomach, mate. How about some bread? Yeah, it's gonna you buy some bread for that empty stomach of yours. Three for five. What's your name? Charlie Anderson, mate. Charlie Anderson, you need work done. Hey, uh, I mean, not right now, mate. I want a bit of a, uh, just a bit of a delivery job, honestly. You nothing, uh, nothing I have really this. Important. Ten bucks, I'll, I'll do security you know. for you. I'll say we'd be unemployed right now when it comes to works in the hands of Will. Oh, is he letting you go? Is Santa let go? Is he help her? That is yeah, awful. unfortunate situation. Have you fell on those rocks? That is very sad. Well, look, listen, uh, I'll let you know if anything uh, comes up. Well, I've got to meet my companion, but, uh... Well, do we hear any, we have any work coming up for you? Why don't you give me a telegram, mate, or what? I ain't read a rap. Oh, fuck me. Oh, well, well. You know what? You, where can I find you? Here at Kane's in the saloon. Saloon, or what? Right. That happens to oh, be no longer you, welcome towards Santa Claus here. Unfortunately, how that is. Well, if you want to hire a gorilla that falls around your bread and breaks your back in and tries to kill you, then yes, go ahead and hire this man here. What did you say about well, my character? I mean, that oh, seems a little... Upset, I mean, you must have said something, mate. Nobody just said I mean, it seems a little... Reason. Exaggerated, no, Mr. Wilhelm. I am not so sure. <laughs> what happened to you, mate? Are you sure that was a tumble on the rocks? You know what? Second thought, don't ask that. I don't care. What time are you headed to, sir? Probably Blackwater, mate. My bitch ride. I need to get uh, this shit storm anyways. Ten dollars and you got yourself a ride, mate. Three. I only got three on me. Three? Three dollars? Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what. Three dollars then. Fine. Sound good. You got yourself a transport, mate. How about you, I bet She wants some bread. Three for five dollars. Nah, I'm good, thank you. There's some carrots for, uh, Santa's sleigh. Hey, it's fine. catching on in here, look. He needs some carrots. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, lovely. Oh, that's funny, you know what? That little joke there. 
I'll give you I'll give you a piece of bread for free. Yeah, it's very, 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 very creative, yes. Yeah, what it's brilliant, doing? mate. It's brilliant. I like that. Can't seem to reach out and grab your hand. You got some uh, your grease on there. There you go, mate. Yeah, make sure you take good care of him. Nah, yet Santa Claus. That's if we. Even, right, that's thank if we, you. That's if, if we even see that eye these days, like we ever has. Oh fuck me! Bit of a falling out, isn't it? Well, what am I gonna do with me, mate? Come on, black water. Hey, this shit, Careful mate. now. God damn it. Oh shit. Oh, fuck me. Sorry, mate. Slippery seats. Yeah, I saw you trying to catch me. There you go, mate. Oh, yeah. Lovely. So, you had a little fall down with Santa Claus, did you? Oh, hey, no. You'd see something like that. Got a bit of a mouth on him, ain't he? And at this point, I think I'm best living in Blackwater again. So, bitch. Uh, heartbreaking, mate. Heartbreaking. But, you know, sometimes we have to just do what we gotta do to make ends meet, ain't we? Look at me. Came from England, I did. Used to run bare knuckle fights down in London town. Now, look at me. Making fucking bread for mugs. Uh, looks of it, the way you was dressing earlier, you was doing pretty good for yourself, I reckon. Well, I mean, appearances can be deceiving, my friend. Is that so? Just like poker, I suppose. Exactly, mate. You don't want to show your ad too quickly. Well, I appreciate the $3 ride to Blackwater. That's the one I was in there anyway. I was getting tired of smell shit and piss downtown. It does have a stitch, doesn't it, mate? Uh, uh, I'm not a fan myself, but uh, customers are there, so I'll go wherever they are, mate. Now, what's your name, anyway? Connor. Connor, is it? Oh, right, Connor. Where are you from? Blackwater. Oh yeah, Blackwater's alright Blackwater, I don't mind it. Better than here anyway. It's getting too fancy for my taste these days. Too many fancy fellas from St. Denis decides they want some music. It's them fucking Dicenzos there mate, you wanna watch out for. They're fucking mugs, a lot of them, to a hey, man. They own that moving. saloon down there. All dressing, hey, all fucking smarmy. You moving. think I dress up posh mate, you should look at them. Walking around on the fucking over the place. Disgusting, mate. Is that so? Oh, uh, yeah, mate. would be sick. A lot of them. Hate them all. You know when you walk past a group of people and they just think they're better than you? They ain't say anything to you, but the way they talk, the way they look at you, the way they sneer as they walk hey, past in their fucking moving. fancy clothes. They strut around like fucking speckled ends, mate. It sounds yeah. like most peckerheads I run into. Eh. Uh, certainly is, mate. Sounds like this. What well, is your name again? Charlie Anderson, mate. Charlie, I, I was just about to call you Charles. But Charlie. Yeah, you can be Charles if you want. Make me sell up royalty if you want, mate. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let me make sure we're going the right way here. You're too near to get lost. I am still new to this country. Alright. Oh, yeah, bacon, it's alright, mate. The way all I see is good or bad. Everyone's got to eat at the end of the day, mate. And I ain't meaning want to judge honestly whatever you do in life to make ends meet everyone's got to eat yeah it 
So what do you do for work apart from help out Santa Claus? I usually hunt and do the hot job. That's how I usually go. Yeah, plenty of people need to uh, need meat on the table. I think it ain't a bad idea, mate. You know, in England we have meat pies. There seem to be a thing over here. Steak and ale is my favourite. You ever had steak and ale pie, mate? I have steak and ale. Oh, mate. One day I'll make you one, baby, and we become friends. Yeah, 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 but I don't drink, so you can hold on to the ale. You don't drink? No more. Oh, mate. Why not? Because I've got some temper, that's why. Uh, yeah, I could look in your eyes and see it, mate, actually. Yeah, you definitely done some things, ain't you? Fuck me. Yeah, you can say that, I guess. So what do you do besides sell bread? Uh, not much, mate. I drink, I fuck, I eat, I sleep, and I bake more bread again and then repeat it all. I guess at least he has a business. Hey, ain't nothing to write home about, mate. When, uh, when they write the history books about this great country, they probably won't be mentioning me in it. But you know what? That's who I'll be. I'll quietly exist with what I have right here, which is enough for me. Yeah. I don't think you're too quiet about the way you go is talking shits to people like Santa Claus. Well, he's a fucking old man, mate. What's he gonna do, eh? Fucking bug. You're lucky I ain't in the mood to fight his fights anymore, so. Because I have a mean right hook. Though, he was. I thought he was gonna start throwing abs at me. Oh, some bitch. He's more likely to pull a knife on you. Well, life. Fuck me. He's very, de very defensive of his lady love, isn't he? Is he getting paid to suck his pecker as well? I think there ain't no woman ever stuck his pecker. Pop dried yeah. up and fell off already. That's all yeah, the easy is. It does seem the type, doesn't it? Uh, rage bait is what it does to a person like that. Yeah. Well. What was that fella paying for anyway? Well, since I don't work for him, I don't care much about his business. He's all. Looking at artifacts, secret shit, trying to make himself immortal or some nonsense. Real lunatic. Uh, yeah, sounds like a bad man to be, a bad old man. And apparently there's rumors that he's brought some some bitch back from the dead. I don't have to believe at this point anymore, but enough people saying it, so it must be true. Uh, people say all kinds of fucking nonsense in this world, mate. I don't believe half of it. Bring someone back from the dead sounds like a bunch of bollocks to me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking until I seen some of the things I've seen recently. Now I'm starting to wonder who's the real devils, who's the real angels, and where the hell's God? Hey, mate, you know what I reckon? I think the devils are the ones that come between you and what you want to achieve in life. Could be the law. You want to kill someone? They're gonna stop you, so they're the devils. The angels, the ones that help you on your way to your goals. What about bread and some fucking mug comes along and tells me I've got to pay a few thousand dollars to pick wheat in his fields because he thinks I'm doing something else with it, but I call him a fucking devil. Yeah, people that take care of those kind of people, well, they'd be fucking angels to me, mate. If that was the kind of thing that was going on, but as I said, the baker. Yeah, but I still try to live by the damn Bible. Best I can, even though I can't read it, but... Raised a damn Christian, so I should try to at least be a good man the best I is. Very noble indeed of you, mate. Uh, me, I was never a religious man. Is that why you make bread? 
Exactly, mate. Exactly. The only rise I think uh, Christ will be doing is rising his bread. Yeah. Yeah, like that, eh? Yeah, rising Christ, yeah, he's risen, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good day, yeah, I'll press myself with that one. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. You want to hear a joke, mate? Yeah, go for it, I suppose. Why did the loaf of bread break up with his girlfriend? Why he do that? Their relationship was crumbling. Eh? Yeah. Eh, yeah, it's good, that is. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. I think you and I have different humor. Oh, mate. I've got plenty more where that came from. Yeah, keep it to yourself, though. Oh, you tired of me already? I should have charged them all. An extra three dollars to listen to me jokes. Actually, you know what? Pay me three more dollars on the way we get there, and I promise you, you won't hear any more jokes. I'm sure if that. I would have borrowed three dollars from Mr. Wilhelm, he'd be happy to pay for that. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't he? Go borrow some money off him then. What did one loaf of bread say to a friend after doing them a favour? I don't know. It's the yeast I could do! brilliant. Oh, fuck me. That's good. Alright, fine. You don't want to vote for fucking jokes. What do you like to do? You like to sing songs or something? You want any songs you want to sing? I ain't sing. I don't sing. Oh. Play the instruments. I know I play harmonica about it. Oh, harmonica. I'll play harmonica. Listen to this, eh? Yeah, you ready? Well, as you sound more skilled than I is, I ain't ever heard that before. I only know like four songs in the West. Yeah, mate. Oh, I've been learning, actually, yeah. Some wolves uh -oh, back there. Don't like it? Fuck me, go what? And wolves. Ah, we're both rusting up, mate. They don't like the fucking, uh... Don't like the wagons, they're too big for them to climb up or we'll should be alright at this time. Yeah, up. you never know when they get brave though. It is. Yeah, it's probably good to be prudent, isn't it? Oh, I saw one of them giant cougar things uh, once. I'll shit yeah. my pants, mate. They rip you up good if they get to you. I've been, yeah, mate. I've been mauled by one before. I mean, best feeling. Yeah, one, one fucking nearly. Tore my eye out, mate. Uh, shit my pants. Oh, look who it is! Henry! Hey, what, mate? Look who it is! What you I was going to now? send you a message. Uh, uh, well, I don't have any change in my pocket, mate. The telegram with the cat about it, so. All right, now yeah, who's this witch? Uh, this is this is just a mate going to Blackwater. I don't really know him. His name's Connor or something. I'll just walk him a ride there. All right, well, let's head on back down to Blackwater. I gotta get get a couple things in the way. Oh, yeah, I got some news for you, mate. You're gonna want to hear when we get there. Very Sounds interesting good news. To me. Oh, it's good news, mate. It's very fucking good news. Saloon news or in private news? Oh, probably private, mate, especially down there in Blackwater. In fact, we should probably save that news until we're out of town completely, mate. Yeah, no worries, I ain't concerned about none of your business. Oh, it's nothing, mate, but you know, wrong ears here, what we're talking about, well... We're... I get you, there's too many peckerheads around here always trying to raffle through people's goddamn personal business. Yeah, mate, too many people fucking yap on about it as well when they do hear something. 
so uh, I'm sure you will uh, understand my desire to remain uh, cautious. Yeah. Connor is looking for work, Henry. Security. I'll talk. Maybe security, mate, yeah. I don't know. Well, let's have to see. As long as you, whatever it is, as long as it involves reading or counting them. Right. So as long as it don't call. What now? Reading, writing, or counting. If it doesn't involve that, I'm good for it. Well, shit, if it's counting, I guess we can underpay him then. Is this the right way, mate? Am I gonna sink here? I think you sink here. Uh, I'm gonna fucking go yeah, wrong, but I'm going the fucking wrong way, mate. Yeah, I still can count to a hundred, so you don't want to underpay me there. Sounds good enough. Ah, uh, mate, we ain't swindlers. You should see what happened to uh, Santa Claus back there when he tried to like, come. Hey, fucking Santa Claus, mate. You ever met him, Henry? Some German oh, fella. Him. When he told me about him, I know him very well. Oh, yeah, you mentioned him once or twice. Yeah, Santa Claus, he uh, took a tumble earlier off a of cliff or something, or at least that's what this fella here says to me. Yeah, he fell on a sharp axe. I mean, rock. <laughs> yeah, he don't like me, old. mate. A lot broken. I tell you, Charlie, that old fool tried to offer me some work a couple weeks oh, yeah. back. Did he? Yeah. I would have been okay with it. I asked him how the money was. It's pretty decent. Well, I tell you this. Said, uh, he ain't, he ain't good at making thing. friends. That's for sure. He's got a lot of enemies. Well, it's because he puts all the coal in people's stockings, mate, isn't he? Yeah. That fool told me to chauffeur him around in a wagon. I said, I don't think I will oblige to such courtesies for you, mister. You're for a fucking $5. chauffeur now, mate. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I'm a goddamn professional. What I look like carting you around in a wagon for $5. Ain't he the fella that got you into trouble all those years ago? Well, I got myself into trouble, but that was just to keep my merit up, you know? Yeah, got mate. the job done as a security there. Security With where? With the help of uh, his assistant, I forget his name, I think it was Fletch. What did you do for him? I'm curious now. Ran security at an event he had. What happened there? Say that again? What happened there? There was a bunch of law there. Roped him up, tried to take him in. He had an assistant, his name was Fletch. I believe the fellow was a little touched. A couple fingers short of a fist kind of fellow. Yeah. So a simpleton then. Yes. So uh well, while he's roped up, tighted. the simpleton goes and uh takes a couple jabs at one of the lawmen. Actually holding his own for a fellow who don't know any better. And I saw that opportunity to uh Y'all hear wolves? Yeah, up on the cliff. All right. Hold on. And what happened at that event? I think it's the same one I think it is. I'm curious. Yeah, so his assistant starts attacking one of the sheriffs that was there undercover watching the event. And I, with my quick wit itself, was able to grab the doctor and uh, get him to safety and avoid arrest. It's up. I, I hope Thank he you. paid you well enough. I'm bitch oh, he slippery. paid me well. I always take deposit. See, I didn't get paid after I had to get him to safety, but I always take deposits. You pay me up front. And then when the work's done, you pay me a little more. Well, that says, I just uh, didn't get a little more. At this point, you're probably best not working for him anymore, because I used to work for him, and he's gone real damn cheap about paying people. And he's a real peckerhead as well. Ah, 
cheap we talking about. He only wants to charge five, ten dollars for an entire day's work now. No, sir. He was paying me 25 because I made him pay me 25. And I was, as soon as he got other workers, he started to try to cut me shorter because he had other help. God damn, oh. pick your head. Oh, break you, mate. I heard him trying to bring some guy back from the dead. Some crazy shit like that. Yep, that was the event I took him out of. What it looked like? It was an old lady. I don't know what the hell it was. It was leaking some weird blue shit. It was screaming and yelling. Foaming at the mouth. I didn't know what to make of it. I knew he Did was he might have been that would a explain a lot about him, wouldn't it, Henry? Mm -hmm. hey? God rest his soul. Sure. Oh, I beg him on the road, then. Care for them, coyote. Hi, oh, lovely, lovely sunrise. Isn't that beautiful, eh? Dawn of a new day, mate. New day of selling bread and all this business. Yes, yes, yes. I kind of miss Blackwater. It's been a while since I've lived here. Fancy fair lived in Black War. It sounds you live here, you ain't do too badly yourself. Well, I was living in a tent back there. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that makes a little more sense then. All these new fucking houses and buildings they're putting up, I don't expect they're gonna be building one for you, mate, are they? No, I don't reckon. Got some customers up red. <coughs> fresh bread, get your fresh bread here. Fresh bread, peachy oh, yeah. bread, fresh made. Charlie. Hello, who are you, mate? Hey, thanks for the ride, Charlie. 